Hi, and welcome to this special broadcast directly from our studios at Cornerstone Baptist Church in Orlando, Florida. My name is Edgar, and today I have a special treat for all the women who are listening, and it's a special invitation to our 2015 Women's Conference under the title, Tested and True, Women and the Truth of Christian Suffering. This Women's Conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church the 17th and 18th of July. The women will greatly enjoy a time of fellowship, joyful worship and music, and biblical teaching. And speaking of biblical teaching, allow me to present our special guest who is joining us via phone all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miss Susan J. Heck. Thanks for taking the time to join us on this broadcast, Susan. You're welcome. It's a joy to be here with you. For those who don't know Susan, allow me to give you a little bit of background. Susan Heck has been happily married to her husband been Doug for 39 years. She has been involved in women's ministry for about 37 years in a variety of different ways, such as Bible studies, counseling. Uh, she's a guest speaker at many international women events and conferences. Susan is also an author to several published books, such as A Call to Discipleship, Putting Off Life Dominating Sin, and With the Master of Bible Study, among others. She has personally memorized 23 books of the New Testament word for word. Susan is 59 years old. She's a mother of two and grandmother to seven precious grandchildren. You can listen to her radio program, Women with the Master, on www.worldviewweekend.com forward slash radio. Susan, what I'd like for us to do is to talk about the conference, but specifically in regards to the sessions that are going to be covered during the conference. I have in front of me uh, the session titles and itinerary, so let's begin with the first session. Uh, The title for that first session is Five Keys to Loving Life. Uh, Why this title and why is it a topic of importance to all the women who are listening right now? Well, you know, Edgar, um, the suicide rate in our world today is just staggering. They say that about a million people in the United States commit suicide. So we know that people don't love life. And of course, we know the the real issue behind probably most of those suicides is that they don't have a living relationship with the living God. But even as a biblical counselor, I have to tell you, I meet a lot of women that are depressed, uh, that profess to be Christians, they're suicidal, they have no, they have no love for life, the, they don't richly enjoy the life that God has given them. And that puzzles me as a Christian woman. I don't, I don't understand that. But Peter um, will give us in our lesson the first night we're together, which, by the way, it's my 10-year anniversary at your church, so that's kind of exciting. We'll be uh, celebrating, I think, but it'll be a joy to be there. But anyway, uh, Peter will give keys to loving life. And there are five keys to loving life, and maybe perhaps some women that are listening will realize that they are not loving the life that God gave them because they're not um, doing the things that Peter says that God would have us to do in order to enjoy the life he gave us. And so he talks about the fact that if we want to love life and see our days as good, then there's certain things we must do. And uh, especially the first one, I think about refraining our tongue from evil. And um, again, as a woman, I know that uh, gossip and slander and flattery is a common sin among women. And John Calvin said that uh, talkativeness was a disease of women and it gets worse with age. And so um, it behooves us as women to really get this area under control. And so, you know, when we're involved in that kind of sinning, it, it, it keeps us from enjoying the life that God gave us. And, and ongoing sin can can cause us to be depressed and not see our life as, as good. Um, also, Peter talks about the importance of, of turning away from evil and doing good. And, and I don't know um, what you all are seeing, but I, I'm very concerned as I travel around and, and see women, they're engrossed in a lot of things, but they're not engrossed in doing things that are good. And they spend numerous amount of hours on social networking and Facebook and these types of things, which are not evil in and of themselves, but they seem to be used as a tool of Satan to pull us away from doing the things that God requires of us in uh, Titus and Proverbs 31, that women are to look well to the ways of their household and they're to look after the poor and the widows, and we're not doing that anymore. And uh, we're spending our time just entertaining ourselves to death, as one man said. So we're going to look at that, too, and the importance of turning away from all evil and pursuing good and then seeking peace and pursue it. And, you know, the wonderful blessing of all this, if 
if we do these five things that Peter mentions through uh, the Holy Spirit, obviously, who empowered him to write this letter to these persecuted Christians, is that Peter says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his, his ears are open to those uh, who do good. And so I don't know about, about you and these women that are listening, but I want God to, uh, his favor to be upon me. I want him to, um, you know, I want to be able to communicate with him and fellowship with him and, and know that he hears and answers our prayers. So it's a wonderful blessing uh, that we have if we will keep ourselves from evil and, and seek the things that are good. And, and I love life. I mean, I wake up most days. I'm not prone to depression. I love to get out of bed and just see what God has for me that day. So I hope the women will come Friday night and just be encouraged as we look at these uh, five keys to loving life. So Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing a little bit of the great teaching that is to come. And for all the women that are out there who are listening, let me encourage you to register today so you can be a part of our 2015 Women's Conference under the title Tested and True, Women and the Truth of Christian Science. Suffering. This conference will be hosted at Cornerstone Baptist Church the 17th and 18th of July. Uh, you will enjoy a great time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. So take advantage and register today. You can do that online at www.testedandtrue.net. Once again, www.testedandtrue.net. And if you have any questions or need help with the registration process, please give us a call here at our church offices at 407 971 7685. 407 971 7685. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you at the conference. God bless you.